diagrams as well. This is a diagram of the bonding of two 1s orbitals. So what we've got here is two separate 1s orbitals for hydrogen and then when we join them together we get a bond and this is what represents the bond, what's in the middle here. This down the bottom here is called a bonding orbital. This up here is called an anti-bonding orbital. All right, let's look at some pictures of seeing how the 1s orbitals combine. And you can see these are two separate 1s orbitals and they combine and this is called a sigma bond. So that's what we get, that's a bonding orbital right there. The other possibility for 1s is this one. I'm going to show you in a second it comes up. Here we go, this is called an anti-bond. And what we're looking at here are 1s orbitals of different phases. And if you've got two orbitals that have different phases then they can't combine. And this is called an anti-bonding orbital. Now if we look at hydrogen, we can see that each one of these 1s orbitals has one electron. So when we put the two electrons uh, together, and they can only go down in here, and we don't have anything up in the anti-bonding section of the molecular orbital diagram. So what we do is we take all the electrons that are on the original orbitals and then we combine them together down here. So that's a total of two and the two electrons go in here. In order to calculate what we call bond order, which is basically just the number of bonds we expect between the two elements, we use this equation, bonding electrons minus antibonding electrons divided by two. Down here we have two electrons in the bonding orbital, we have zero electrons in the antibonding orbital which means that we've got 2 minus 0 divided by 2 which equals 1 and that means we would expect a single bond between the two hydrogen atoms and that's exactly what we do see when we're talking about H2. Alright so now you've seen bonding and you've seen anti-bonding. Let's look at another example now when we're dealing with helium and let's say we wanted to try and make He2. You all know that uh, helium-2 or HE2 does not exist. You can't form a molecule uh, between two helium atoms and you're about to find out why that is. When we've got a 1s orbital with helium, we've got two electrons in each 1s orbital. When we fill the orbitals, we put one electron here and one electron here and then we come up here and we put one electron here and one electron here. This is because we had to put four electrons into this uh, bonding and anti-bonding orbital sets. And four electrons because we had two here and two here. When we figure out the bond order, what we see is we've got two bonding electrons, that's these here. We've got two in the anti-bonding, so that, that would be here. Two minus two divided by two equals zero. And this is what we'd expect because helium will not bond to another helium atom. So that's a bond order of zero. That just means that they simply won't bond together. And the underlying reason for that is because we end up getting two electrons in the anti-bonding orbital and it sort of cancels the electrons that we would put in the bonding orbital.